who you are and your institution? I'm Rebecca Richards Cordum. I'm on the Faculty in Bioengineering at Rice University. Right. Could you please tell us a little bit about this uh, concept you've come up with, this idea of putting bioengineers, biomedical engineers in the field, how, why that's important? Sure. So what we're doing is we're partnering with doctors and nurses who are delivering healthcare in the developing world. And we're asking them to identify challenges they face in delivering care. And we work with them then to turn those into projects for teams of undergraduates to develop solutions to. And when students have a successful result, they then have the opportunity to take that solution to the developing world and work with those partners to implement it and to refine it as necessary. So this idea of a very modern Western incubator in a third world country. Tell us a little bit about that, the, the issues you face and, and why there needed to be another solution. Sure. So often when you go to a pediatrics ward in a hospital in the developing world, you will see a lot of Western style incubators that are broken and are not being used because they couldn't withstand the harsh environmental conditions of the hospital and they're not able to get spare parts or to have the expertise available to repair them. And so we um, met a wonderful pediatrician in Malawi named Liz Molyneu, who had um, found a way to make a wooden incubator that used light bulbs to warm the air. And we were so amazed by this ingenious solution that we asked her if our students could do an engineering analysis to improve the thermal efficiency and then also to add in automatic regulation of the temperature. And that was one of the very first projects that we took on. But then in partnership with Dr. Molyneux and her staff, we've identified a whole host of other projects that are targeted towards helping sick babies who are in um, developing world hospitals. And something, uh, uh, incubators, somewhat taken for granted in the United States and other mm -hmm. developed countries. What does it mean in terms of lives to have the ability to have an inexpensive, durable sure. incubator so in a durable country? We know that 8 million children under the age of 5 die every year, and 98% of those deaths occur in the developing world. One-fourth of those deaths happen in the first week of life. And in so many hospitals in the developing world, when you go and visit the pediatrics ward, there is literally no technology available. There are no incubators. There are no resuscitators. There are no pulse oximeters. There's no oxygen. There's nothing. There is such a need for technologies that are affordable and that are sufficiently durable so that they're not continually breaking down. They don't need consumable parts to function. But the potential for babies in particular, two million babies a year, die. Well, thank you very much for the time. You bet, thank you very much. It's great to be at BMES.